Welcome to CodeZinger tutorial to create a custom problem. Click on My Problem tab on the left navigation bar. Click on Create Problem button. The new problem window will open. Custom problem creation is a three-step process. First step. Provide problem details. Select programming language for the problem. You can select multiple languages too. Set title of the problem. Set the problem description. You can provide images, videos and external links in description too. Optionally, you can set tags for the problem too. Tags will help search the problem quickly. Second step. This step is about providing a reference solution and valid test cases for the programming problem. It is optional to provide a reference solution, but we recommend to provide the reference solution along with test cases. The solution will validate the test cases too. To add your test cases, click here. Set test case title. Set the weight of a test case. It can range from 0 to 100. Provide input for the program. Set the expected output. Set execute in quick run for at least one test case. You can also set a particular test case as hidden, to detect brute force solution. You can also add command line parameters for a particular test case. Add multiple test cases like that to validate student's solution for various conditions. The total weight of all the test cases must be 100. CodeZinger also provides certain test case configurations. Trim output. Once set, student output will be compared with faculty's expected output after trimming the extra space before and after the output. Case insensitive compression. It compares student's output with expected output in a case insensitive way. Tokenized output comparison. It compares student's output with the expected output after tokenizing. This will trim the spaces, word-wise. Faculty can also set reserve keyword to force a student to solve solutions with certain programming construct. Like, put here while keyword to make student submits a solution with while loop. If student's solution doesn't have while, we will raise a flag. Functional unit test cases. You can provide functional test cases to ensure student creates specific functions which adhere to provided test cases. Functional unit test cases can be created in JUnit for Java, unit test for Python and CXX test for C++. When checked, an additional button will pop up here to run test cases. On click of that functional test cases will run. If you have decided to provide the solution for programming problem, write it here. The solution will be used to validate all the test cases. To validate the test cases, click here. If all test cases are passing, go to third step. We also provide ready to use a template which faculty can load quickly and modify for various problem types. Step 3. This step is about starter code template for students. The best approach to use this step is to load the solution from the second step. Then, remove the core logic of the problem. Idea is to keep students focused on the problem solution only. Like here for factorial of a number problem, I want student to write a method to calculate factorial. So I am removing the code to calculate factorial. I am keeping the read line and print statement. You can also make some file read only. Student will not be able to modify this file. Click on verify and activate to activate the problem. You will be able to add problem to class after activation. Don't worry, the solution will not be visible to students. That's all there is to creating custom problems in CodeZinger.